Good evening, I'm Erica Thomas. And I'm Stan Boney. It was this time last year that five bottom dollar grocery stores around Youngstown closed. The Glenwood Avenue bottom dollar is now owned by the city of Youngstown. Yesterday was the deadline to submit an application to buy that building, but no one did. So what now? 27 First News reporter Tyler Trill is in the studio with what the city has planned. It's our top story at 11. Good evening, Stan and Erica. Last month, the city gave tours of the building to potential buyers, but that was not enough to receive a bid. Now the city is extending the deadline. Closed doors in an empty parking lot will remain the site at 2649 Glenwood Avenue. After receiving no bids from potential buyers of the building, the city is extending the bidding deadline until March 2nd. Um, it was disappointing that we didn't receive any proposals. Uh, we did have some conversations with interested parties. Um, but the end result was that there were no actual proposals submitted. Youngstown's Director of Community Planning, T. Sharon Woodbury, says the city will have to continue those conversations. Uh, we'll be making some follow-up calls to those who express interest to see um, if there is any desire for them to possibly submit a proposal. Now, I can't get any closer to the building because they have the parking lot chained off, but Woodbury tells me the electrical, the air conditioning, the heating, and the plumbing all still work. The building is only a few years old. From my view tonight, the outside remains intact. During the tour in January, we saw grocery signs still hanging throughout. That does not mean the future buyer has to use it for that purpose, though. We'll also be looking at other avenues to uh, promote the building in accepting proposals for something other than a grocery store. The building is valued at $1.5 million, but there is no minimum bidding price. Woodbury says they will be evalu evaluating the proposals based on many things. Some include what the buyer plans to use the building for, how it fits into the neighborhood, and how financially sounded the person is.